for providing an inexhaustible library of research for this project. As you all know, many mass murderers share one thing in common, that they all have been victims of either mental or physical abuse in their childhood. While outside influences are important, studies show that a person's disposition to kill may already be embedded in his or her genial nature. In other words, a person's genetic makeup does in fact heavily influence the individual's propensity towards crime, regardless of environmental influences. This is in Article 2835. Please download it now. Interacts with his or her surroundings is also related to one's genes. Richard Tretton Chase and Edmund Kemper. Chase is a prototypical psychopath killer who exhibited abnormal conditions in the levels of dopamine secretion. This in turn caused him to murder for human blood, thinking he needed it in order to prevent his own blood from ossifying. In case of Ed Kemper, studies might point his childhood, which consisted of cruel confinement in a dark basement, as for his countless murders. However, it is also proven that serotonin was a prime factor motivating his actions. Deciphering a pattern of crime is not enough to stop these murderers. We must go beyond the symptoms and locate the source from whence these patterns emerge. That is the human genome. Are the signatures lurking behind a person's crime, and in fact, all future crimes. 